Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is Donna from Tarot Tarot. We're going to do a quick read for you. We're going to go over your money, your career, your love life, and to do a general spread. At the end, we're going to do six cards, Donna's Destiny, and then we'll do the all signs. If you're dealing with an Aries, if you're dealing with a Taurus, if you're dealing with a Gemini, etc. If any card repeats, I will point that out in case that's something you need to hear. If any sign repeats, I'll point that out in case that's confirmation of somebody you came here to hear about. If you like it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button. Um, I think that's it. I just reviewed this deck. If anybody cares, <laughs> Hocus Pocus. I did a, a deck review and I'll upload that after your reading. And that's it. All right. And let's see. Money. Let's see what deck we're using for your money. We're going to use the Wizard's Tarot. This one. So let's see. What is on the bottom of the deck before we even begin? Um, okay, so... Is there some situation, financial situation, in which you're having to <laughs> heal and grow from? Is there something your money was affected in a negative way, possibly? Or is it just that you're currently, that's what's currently going on, is you're just, you're growing your money. I don't know. Uh, but usually this is a card of um, healing and growth. But it's a card of hope, too. So, there, you know, this is a card of, you know, there's hope for whatever's going on. So let's see. Let's see what financial situation you got yourself in. <laughs> I don't want to say it like that, but that's kind of how it comes out. Did you get yourself into a financial situation? We are going through the remnants of a hurricane right now. Hurricane Ian. All right, so Queen of Wands, the death card. Oof. Here, I'm going to put it here so you can see. Um, but this is not a traditional death card. This is a transformation card for sure. Um, the High Priestess. Notice all the people in here right now. There's a lot of people in this. Um, the Knight of Swords and then King of Pentacles. Look at that. You got a King, a Queen, a Knight, the High Priestess, and then the Death card. On the bottom, the uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So you're trying to decide. This, you know what, Pisces got something similar um, in their financial. So you're trying to decide if things are worth it. Um, you know, like if you're purchasing things or you're investing in things. Um, you're trying to decide, you know, is this worth it? Is it worth the uh, investment or worth the money I'm going to spend on this? So hopefully you're not like spending to, uh, how do I put this? Like ego spending, like spending for things that make you look good or spending for things that get you attention. So hopefully you're not, you know, your priorities hopefully are in the right, or maybe that's, you know what, actually with the death card right after that, um, maybe this was in the past. You may have found yourself spending for things like um, that make things that make you look good or, or impress other people. But you're transforming that, um, and I think you're learning like really important. You're paying attention to your intuition and you're learning a lot of really important things about money and resources. Um, what is the Knight of Swords? Okay, taking a break. That's interesting. One is fast movement. One's not new movement at all. Um, and then the King of Pentacles. So I think you are quickly um, learning what brings you stability. Here's the King of Pentacles. This is the King of Stability, right? So and then on the bottom of the deck is you. So you're actually taking the time to decide whether or not things are really worth it. So you're not rushing off and and spending recklessly. So that's good. That is good. I like this. The High Priestess here. You're not letting people know what you're up to. You're just, you're learning what you're learning and, and do what you got to do and keeping it to yourself. So that's good. Maybe you're learning the secrets of, um, you know, financial savvy. All right. So let's see what's going on in your career situation. Uh, the nine is the steampunk deck. So steampunk for your career. And on the bottom, lovers. Who was it that I had? Like the last time, it's been a minute since I've done a reading because um, I had a couple deaths in my family. <laughs> and um, it's not funny. I don't know why I say it like that, but um, it's actually not funny at all. But um, when I last read, who did I read for that may have had, um, was it Capricorn? Sagittarius or Capricorn, somebody I was concerned because they may have had a um, their job, they may have gotten involved. I think it might have been Aquarius, um, but they may have gotten involved with somebody um, on the job. No, it was Capricorn. 
So you might want to check out the Capricorn reading if you have someone rising your Venus in Capricorn or if you're dealing with a Capricorn. But um, it was, they, they are worried, I think, they were in a, they were in a relationship and they were, they got sidetracked by somebody on the job or something to that effect. I don't remember now exactly. That was what last week. All right. So let's see what's going on on the job though. Um, there's that King of Pentacles again. That's Taurus energy. And that's all about stability. There's the Seven of Pentacles again too. Ooh, look at this. And they're even in the same spots as far as like, I want to show you this because you have to see this. So see where you have the, the King of Pentacles here and the Seven of Pentacles here, right? So then I push these up just a little bit so you could see. Um, I set this down. That was the first card out. That's the King of Pentacles. Next card out, Seven of Pentacles. And they're both Taurus energy. So I don't know if you have someone rising your Venus in Taurus or if you're dealing with somebody who is a Taurus. Um, but I'm just going to point that out to you. Nine of Wands. Four of Swords. Judgment card on the bottom, you have the Six of Cups. So some of you may be going back to something that you used to do before. Um, a job or a career that you... Something from the past. Um, or just doing things, maybe doing things, you know, like you used to do. Like, I don't know if in your job or career, if, if you aren't the boss, for example, and you work for somebody else, maybe that company's deciding to go back to doing things like they used to do. But something about the past is, is involved here. Um, but you're focused on your stability and you're trying to decide whether or not, you know, that what you do is worth it, what you're getting out of this job or this career. Because you're still in it, but you're feeling kind of like, you know, you're like, you're kind of feeling like beat up and you're, you're on the lookout and you're, you're cautious. You're being cautious right now. So I don't know if you've been through the ringer with this job or career, but a lot of you feel like you just need a break. You need rest. Um, and you're making a decision. I almost feel like you're making some kind of announcement. I don't know if that announcement is, here's my two weeks. <laughs> I don't know. But the here's the judgment card. This is you making an announcement or decision on something. Um, because you've been losing sleep. It's stressing you out in some way. So let's see. Let's take a look at your love life and see if everything kind of gels. What goes on? Because I don't know if this doesn't, if this makes sense, if it, if it resonates, feel free to hit the like button. Let me know what you think. Um, because I think a lot of you are in some way, shape or form, either going back to a job from the past or a career from the past, returning to something, something about the past. And it could be just nothing more than, you know, it could be it just be as innocent or, you know, um, I don't know. I want to use the word subtle, but minute is like somebody that you used to work with coming back to the job. So it's, you know, somebody from the past, you know, a person, a coworker from the past coming back to the job or, you know, to the office or whatever, to wherever it is you work. All right, so let's see. What deck are we using for your love portion? Um, six is the good tarot. All right, so this deck for the love portion. What is on the bottom? Page of Fire. It's like Page of Wands. So Page of Wands energy is very impulsive. Um, hopefully, it's not a bad impulsive thing. Hopefully, it's a good impulsive thing. Jesus. Uh, let's see. Two of Fire being at a crossroads. Justice card. Things being fair and balanced. Two of Water. That's like Two of Cups. Eight of Fires. Eight of Wands. Five of Earth. is Five of Pentacles. If you want to look out the cold. Um, all right, so let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's that impulsiveness again. And then there's the High Priestess. That's all about secrets. That's also a Cancer card. Um, three, three of Air is Heartbreak, and Eight of Air is like Eight of Swords stressing over something. There's a Star card again. Um, and that's all about, you know, growth and healing, trying to heal from something. Oh, Aries. Is there some kind of like big shakeup in the uh, love department? Because this is this shows impulsiveness or you know 
taking a leap of faith, sometimes being reckless, but in this case, it's almost like she's making an announcement. So did, did you or somebody else um, kind of say something or announce something without really thinking first? See how she's got that horn and she's making the announcement? That caused either you or them to get quiet. Somebody went quiet. Unless somebody's announcing secrets, unless a secret got exposed, um, what was announced? Something that was a secret maybe? Um, but whatever it is, it's caused heartbreak. And then a source of just stressing out, like stressing out and just it being like circular thinking. When I see the see the feathers falling, it makes me think of like um I, a lot of people don't know this, but like chickens. When every year when people raise chickens, every fall they pluck out all of the feathers that are broken or you know, damaged in some way, and they pluck out those feathers, all the ones that are, you know, not looking so great, to grow new ones. Um, so they pluck them out in September, October, part of November, and then December and January and February, the new feathers are growing in. It's kind of messed up when you think about it, because the coldest part of the year, at least in this area, is when they have, they don't have all their thick, full feathers, which they need. But um, look how it looks like it makes me think of, you know, feathers being plucked out. And what do people do sometimes when they stress out? A lot of times when people stress out, they, they'll, they'll pull on their eyebrows, they'll pull their hair, they'll tear their nails, right? It's, it's stress causes you to like pull at yourself, you know? So hopefully you're not like, you know, pulling yourself apart because here you are just trying to heal and grow and have hope. I mean, of all cards for healing and growth you know the star card is like the a great card to have so i don't know if there's been some kind of shake up something has happened i feel like so i don't know if that makes sense to you let me know all right so let's do a general and i can't use six because we already used that um so we're going to use the radiant wise spirit tarot deck for your general portion but this is cancer Where's the Seven of Pentacles? I just had it. Um, this is Taurus and this is Taurus. So Cancer and Taurus energy are coming through loud and clear in this reading right now. Alright. So the Knight of Wands is um is fun energy, not commitment worthy energy. It can represent a playboy, playgirl type person. Or just going and doing things that make you happy and not not having a care in the world indulging your uh, I don't know your desires I, I don't know how else to put that so let's see what's going on there's the six of cups again too that's Scorpio energy um, Well, something that is either ending or has already ended. Okay, so have you reunited with somebody? Something ended and then you, then you reunited. So there was an ending and then a reunion. Um, things wanting, you know, I don't know. How, this almost makes me think love bombing now that I think about it. Look at this. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, Six of Wands, Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, and then Four of Cups. So did something end? Then there was a reuniting. There was a love bombing phase where somebody's like, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, and then, I don't know if there's juggling, weighing options if you're dealing with a juggler. But then there's the feeling of just not being happy and ignoring it. You're like... I don't know if they're ignoring you, you're ignoring them, but is there some situation here? Because, I mean, you have all the suits too. That's interesting. You have swords, you have cup energy, wands. Actually, you have three cup energy. So that makes me think definitely 
something emotional, something to have to do with um, relationships. And then, you know, pentacles, of all pentacles, the two pentacles, that's like juggling and trying to weigh options. So hopefully you haven't dealt with a juggler because remember we saw the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck when we first started off. All right, so six cards and then we'll do the all signs. <clears throat> if this makes sense, let me know. Because <laughs> it looks like there was an ending and a reunion, some love bombing and like, you know, someone who maybe who likes attention. Because both these cards represent like, you know, reuniting. I just hope they're not a juggler. That's all. All right, so... Addictions are affecting your relationship with sideways. Oh my God, look at this. This, okay, so I want you to notice something. This is a very thick deck. These both came out sideways, but came out. So I don't know if somebody is battling an addiction and it's on again, off again, they quit, they start, they quit, they start. It kind of makes me think that. They have abandonment issues is also sideways, so maybe that's a problem. Okay, if you thought that your person was gender fluid or, because um, it says they like both sexes, I, I get that there's, today, there's like more than just two genders. There's like a thousand genders at this point. I don't even know what, what to think of that, but it is what it is. Um, this represents, if you thought that they were interested in your gender only and then you started to question it if there was more than meets the eye it's it's not a concern so if you thought it was a concern um they are losing sleep over this is sideways so you might have been dealing with somebody who was stressing out and they're not stressing as much anymore but this you might want to know they know they screwed up whether or not they apologize whatever they did who knows um play more you too serious and then we're gonna do let's see if you're dealing with a fellow aries Okay, well, whoever you're dealing with, there's going to be word coming in. They're going to come rushing in, or the communication is going to come rushing in. But there's going to be, Jesus, there's going to be a rushing in. <laughs> All right, I am not going to take this, but look at that. You have the Seven of Cups, the Tower again, the Eight of Cups, and the Four of Cups. So, yeah, there's some kind of shakeup. Um, I don't know if you're walking away from somebody or something. that made you feel like just an option. All right, well, fellow Aries, they do wanna share love with you. Uh, they wanna grow with you. So if you're dealing with a fellow Aries, this Aries actually really, they wanna share love and they wanna grow. They might wanna have children with you. Taurus is holding back and losing sleep over things. Gemini is on a, they would just wanna, they need rest, they wanna take a break. But I almost feel like this break is meant to manipulate you. So if they're going quiet on you, it could be just a manipulation tactic. Um, cancer is focused on healing, self-love, and they're just waiting to see what you're gonna do. So they're kind of waiting on you. Um, Leo is horny <laughs> and is looking at their options. The Virgo is, they feel like it's, it's over, it's done, it's a disaster, and they're walking away. The Libra is, wow, what? So the Libra is ignoring this, even though you're there happily ever after. Who, who does that? Um, Scorpio thinks that you're their, like their wish. You're their wish, but they, they have some control issues. Um, Sagittarius, they want a new start, and the, right now they're just kind of, they're being quiet. They're hiding out and trying to figure out what to do. They're looking for answers. Um... Capricorn is emotionally immature and a juggler. Aquarius wants to apologize for blocking you. <laughs> okay. Pisces feels left out in the cold and they have secrets anyway. Um, but they're confused. They're feeling left out in the cold and confused and they have secrets. So here is, um, I feel like this is you wanting just to move forward with things. Have a little bit more control over things and move forward. All right, Aries, thank you. Love you. And I will see you in the next one.